hello viewers yeah welcome back to my channel today is another interesting day as long as fish farming is concerned we are going to see how fish the fingerlings are introduced inside pond this is the fingerling brought from the ashes you can see inside the container before you stock you have to do the counting to make sure that the quantity that you ordered for are supplied. You have to filter out water from the fish. Look at how it is done. After removing water, you put inside an open container that will give you enough space to do the counting. The counting is now completed and exactly the quantity ordered is supplied. You put back the fingerings into a water inside a container. Now the fingerling is ready to be introduced into the pond known as stocking. As you can see the pond the water is clean. The bottom of the pond is laid with sand to form as a cushion for the fish. Now we are about to introduce the fish into the pond. You can see the level of the water in the pond. It is almost at the bottom level. The reason that you don't increase the level of water inside the pond more than what you are having here is because of the size of the fish. Now, we are going to introduce the fingerling into the pond. We are going to watch how I am going to do here. You cannot empty the fingerling inside the pond, else you will destroy it because you are going to stress it. This is the water that the fingerlings came from the ashes. Because the temperature of water that the fish came and the one inside the pond are not the same. If you introduce the fingerling by pouring, you are going to expose the fingerlings to stress. But rather, how you are going to introduce is, you place the container that carries the fingerlings at the angle of about 90 degrees in the pond, then gradually allow the water from the pond to enter the container holding the fingerlings. As you can see, you do not empty the fish inside the pond because the water inside the container is not in the same temperature with the one we have inside the pond. If you empty it directly, you are going to expose the fingerlings to stress and mortality. Rather, you place the container holding the fish at an angle of 90 degrees as you can see, then gradually allow the water inside the pond to enter the container so that they can form the same temperature. At this point, you allow the water to enter, you allow the water to enter gradually, gradually. Then the fish on their own will swim out of the basin into the pond. can see the fingerlings are swimming out from the basin into the pond on their own. You only help to adjust the container. You adjust the container until they are completely out. Now, you have finished talking the fingerlings. You can see them inside the water. They are swimming. They are very happy that you have given them their own habitat. You have given them a new found home. And they are very happy because the water is conducive. What makes water conducive for the fish? It is because of the, the level of oxygen present in the water. The water is fresh, 
He didn't introduce right from the source, which is the borehole. After the stocking of the fish, however, but what you do for them, being very tender, they are babies, we treat them like babies. Because we are now going to enter into the afternoon time, we may have some little bit of sun. So what you do is that you use the plantain leaf. This is plantain leaf gotten from my farm. You put on top of the water, the plantain will help as a hiding place for them. Because fish, they don't like exposure. They like to hide somewhere. So you provide that artificial shed for them inside the pond that will help them to hide. The leaf would also shed them from the sun and also provide a hiding place for them. I hope you have enjoyed my video today. You have enjoyed how fish fingerlings are introduced into the pond and I believe you have learned a lot. And I hope from what you have learned today, you will have the feeling and the interest to enter into fish farming. Hmm. Sister, I enjoy your fish farming today. You see the reason I said I thank God that I'm here today? I am indeed grateful because I have learned a lot in my sister's fish farming. Well, thank you. As my sister has confessed that she herself has learned so much, I want to believe that you too, yes, is also learning a lot. Yes. And from what you have seen today, I want to believe it's going to encourage you to think of entering into fish farming. Yes. Thank you, sister. I really love this video, and I'm sure you viewers, you are ready to go into fish farming. Yes, because it's a productive farming. Yes, viewers. This is just the beginning of the journey. Yeah. You can see, we are going to feed this fish, take care of this fish, go through the different skill management in fish farming and I encourage you to stay with me so that you will learn as you are learning today you will continue to learn until they get a time we will harvest what you have seen today yes so i'll be so for happy our own consumption. yes keep a little with us don't forget to turn on the notification bell for subsequent updates yes see you in my next video prospective fish farmers, farmers.